All right, welcome to part two of uh, how to make a character. Um, in uh, part two, right here, we are going to focus on drawing the body. In the first part, uh, we uh, have drawn the head. Um, if you haven't seen the first part, um, I'll put a link um, in the description below, um, and I recommend you to watch it uh, before starting with this tutorial. But anyway, for those who have already seen it, um, we are going further. So what we have done, um, we have put um, all of the uh, body parts, the ears and eyes and so on, on vector layers within a group layer called the head and that inside of a bone layer called the character. So now we are going to start with um, the neck first. So I make a new vector layer and I'm going to call it the neck and I put it under the head layer. There you go. Oh, make sure it's inside the bone layer. This happens sometimes. There you go. Maybe put it like this. There you go. So um, what we do, we take the eyedropper tool and we just click on the skin color of uh, the head so we get the same color and align with again. Um, then I'm going to take the draw shape tool, um, make sure to select auto stroke, choose rectangle, and just draw a neck right here. There we go, like this. So I put it right here with the transform points tool. And I maybe add a point right here. And then I'll just move this point right here so it looks a little bit like this. There we go. So then I'm going to start with the body. Um, so I make a new vector layer for it. For this, um, first we pick a color, and I'm just going to choose yellow right here, uh, maybe this one. Um, no, uh, yeah, this one. So I take the add point tool, um, and I'm just going to draw a very simple body right here. Oh, make sure you select this one so you can sh see the points. And I'm just going to draw it like this. I make it very simple. I'm not that good at drawing a uh, human body, um, so I'm just keeping it like this. No. There we go. Um, then I take uh, the Slack Shape tool and the Curvature tool to reduce this or to make them sharper. And I'll make it a bit like this. And I'm going to adjust the points like this. And I don't think we even need this point right here. Um, just make sure it's close to the neck. This, make it thinner. There we go. Um, now maybe just adjust it a little bit here. Like this all right so um, now I'm going to start with uh, drawing uh, the arm um, of course we need we, he has two arms so we are going to put the first one in front and the other one uh, behind so um, we make a new layer for it and I'll call this one right arm oh. right arm so, um, yeah, when I'm, um, I'm going to take uh, the add point tool and I choose the same color, of course, as the body or the sweater. Um, and I'm going to make it like this. Um, before I go further, uh, let me tell you that this point right here in the middle is very important for when we start to animate the character. So, um, again, make it like this. Again, a point right here. There we go. And then we are going to adjust a few things again. I'm going to make this one oh, a lot sharper. Like this, this one as well. And this one. 
And I'm going to uh, adjust these as well. There we go. There we go, like this. So I make it a bit more. I make it bigger, like this. And again, make sure that these points are in the middle. Because that's very important for when we want to animate the arm bowing. Um, there we go. Um, now I make it even much more bigger. Because, of course, it has to be right here. Oh. Like this. I'll put it right here. So then I'm going to adjust the body again because as you draw, you find out that the body doesn't really match the arm, so you have to adjust it a couple of times. Uh, that's okay. So, yeah, maybe like this. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> so I think this will be fine. Um, then I'm going to make or uh, draw the hands. And for that, um, we're not going to choose uh, a vector layer first. First, we are going to make a switch layer. And we call it uh, right hand. Um, and in that switch layer, we are going to put a uh, vector layer. And I call it open. Because when animating the hands, uh, a switch layer will be very useful for when you want to uh, animate his fingers or whatever. Uh, for that, a, a switch layer uh, is very useful, but we're not going into detail about animating. Um, just drawing right now. So, um, I have my own hand. Yeah, by the way, I forgot. <laughs> I have my own hands already made, so I don't have to make a new layer for it. Uh, what I do, I go to import, mo objects, and I take a hand one right here. This is a hand that I've drawn already and I've saved it um, in my documents. And I just use it whenever um, I need to draw a character. So first I select it with the select shape tool and I take the eyedropper tool and I make sure that it has the same color. It's not, not that different, but anyway. Um, so then um, I'm going to flip it right here with this button. Flip it vertically. And I think we have to flip it horizontally as well. And then I take the transform layer tool. Um, I'm going to make it smaller, but I hold in Alt, so that way it has the same uh, it doesn't change um, in height or size or whatever. Just it just gets smaller. <clears throat> then I'm going to put it here, and there we go. And then of course I put it inside the right hand switch layer. Uh, there we go. If you want to know how to draw these uh, hands, I've just overdraw it from an image that I found um, on the internet. You can go to Google Images and type in hand drawing and then you can overdraw it or just draw it. Um, that's how I do it. Um, so yeah. Um, and in the, and then other layers will have um, the, the hand as a fist or just uh, one finger pulled out. So that's where it's for. Um, so. Now the arm and the hand is complete, but of course we have to uh, make uh, a left arm as well. So all we have to do is duplicate this one right here, we we'll call it left arm. And then I hold and shift and I move it like this and then it's right here and then I have to, all I have to do is put it behind the body layer. So it's right there. And maybe we can put it a little bit right here, because we don't want the arm in the middle right now. Also, that's very important for bone structure. Just put it to the right and the other to the left, so that way. And yeah, I'm going to adjust the arm because of that a little bit like this. 
There we go. So, so this will be fine. Um, we're going to do the same with the right hand as well. We duplicate it and we call it left hand. And we put it under the body and under the left arm. And let's zoom in a bit and just put it right here. So it will look like this. There we go. Then, um, yeah. As you're drawing, uh, you see that you have to adjust a few things. Like now, right now, for instance, I see that the head is kind of big in comparison to the body. So I'm just going to make the head smaller right now, like this. So, yeah, that's better. Uh, then we're going to draw the rest of the body. I'm going to put it a little bit higher right now. So, um, first we are going to draw the hips. Um, I'm going to put the hips under the body layer. So I make a new layer for it and I call it hips. And the hips for me are very simple. Uh, all I have to do is uh, choose the color uh, for blue. And then I take the draw shape tool, choose oval, and I just draw oval right here. And then I also adjust the points like this. There we go. Then we are going to start with the legs. And the legs are basically the same as with the arm. Um, the first one, of course, is in front of the hips layer which is the right leg oh. there we go um, I make the right hand invisible so we can see it better and just as with the arm we're going to take the add point tool um, choose the same color as for the hips and we just draw right here and again, as with the arm, put some points in the middle of it, because that's very important for bowing the leg. There we go. And like this. Then I'm going to select these, and I'm going to make them just as sharp as they can be. Right here. And this one as well. There we go, and I'm not going to sharp the, the these points because we don't want it. Um, just with the arm layer as well, we have to uh, keep this unsharp. Because we are going to use knitted for bowing the arm. So I adjust it the way I want it. And like this, and then... Um, Finally, I'm going to take the hide edge tool and all you have to do is click on this one right here so that this edge will be invisible and so it looks better. There we go. Um, then I'm going to uh, draw the shoe. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do it on the same layer as the right leg. Um, so I just pick the color black and I draw oval right here like this and then I select this point alone and I take the curvature tool and I make this one wider like this so now it looks like this there we go then finally um, I'm going to duplicate this right leg and call it left leg And I'm going to put it under the hips layer. And I put it right here. And I put it a little bit higher. Like this. And there we go. Now we have drawn uh, the entire character. So that's about it. Um, that's how you do it. Um, of course you can uh, draw the body different or draw the arms. But especially in terms of... Um, drawing hands for instance in a switch layer and putting uh, points 
in the middle of the arms and the legs is very important for when you want to add the bones uh, to it and when you want to animate this character. So keep that in mind. Um, so yeah, that's about uh, the end. That's the end of this tutorial. In the next part, we are going to show you how to add light uh, and shadow on the character, uh, and then we are going to cover the bones, and then we are going to show you how to animate it. Um, so yeah, uh, I hope you guys learned a lot about this. Um, if you have any more questions, leave a comment. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe for more. I make new tutorials every week on Wednesday. I also make my own animations. I will upload them whenever they are ready, so you can watch those as well. Thanks for watching, guys.